this is Podstar Happy. Um, this is my first video. This is a game called The Trail. I found it a couple of days ago, but I've been kind of quite addicted to it, really. It's by the same creator as the people who made Populous and Goddess, which are kind of old now, but I still remember playing them. Anyway, the concept of this game, you're a traveller from England, you have moved to what I'm assuming is America, it never really tells you exactly, but it looks like um, the Wild West, the frontiers. You're basically walking along the trail and trading and establishing your fortune. Um, so, if we look on here, we have my info. Now, I have, I have only been work playing this game for two days now. And so I've actually got a bit further than I possibly should have. I was lucky enough to be in a village in the game where the founder of it had some items he was giving away to players. So I've kind of spruced myself up a bit with that and got like the top items to wear before I should really have them. Anyway, this is the objectives of the game. Travel to the New World, find a, hope, a helpful guide, follow the trail to Eden Falls, collect and craft things, craft my trade my crafted items, settle in Eden Falls, take on a profession, develop a community, find my perfect partner, raise a family, build my business empire and make my fortune. So, um, how this game works, it's kind of open-ended, it's not like um, different quests to do, you basically just meandering along and increasing your revenue, upgrading your house, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, we also have like this added thing of letters home. Um, so every now and again when you get to a new camp you'll meet the postman, he'll give you a new letter and then you can kind of decide what kind of reply you want to give so maybe one will come up whilst I'm playing this time. It's not every camp but it does come up every few. Uh, uh, um. Anyway I don't have anything to trade at the moment so I'm gonna go ahead and get up so it's a promotion so in about buying a dog. I don't have the money for that yet, so, um, as you walk along the trail, there's different things for you to collect so that you can craft different objects. Um, so like here we have some rabbits and a mini game where you can then shoot them. So I'm just going to collect some stuff here because for me, these are quite useful. It's Scraps of fur, some meat, some lucky rabbit's feet. We will use all of them. Yeah. Um, so this is a mini game you can do with the slingshot. There's different types of slingshot that you can use. This one's the advanced slingshot. Um, mm -mm -mm. And there's other players in the game, like this guy here. Usually when you're at the campsite, it tells you which country they're from as well. So there's quite a few international players. Obviously I'm in England, so I find a lot of English people playing this. But there's also um, from Korea, Denmark, I've seen. Um, the guy who founded my village, he's from Russia as well. So quite a diverse international community. Just going to collect some prairie stuff. Oh, there we go, my daily assessment. So, I've got 9,709 chits from helping stock the warehouse. And 10 gold bars, so that's not too bad. And, um, got to the top of the weekly town league tables. So that's also not bad. Now that's really just from, um, me and the town founder filling stuff, nobody else is bothered, so... I'm quite pleased with that. That's not bad. Okay, a little duck feather. We'll have you as well. Mm. And at the moment, I'm trying to collect 
some beaver carcasses. Which I'm not finding any beavers at the moment, but oh, that looks helpful. There's some beaver fur up ahead. Some moving around up there by the look of it. Um, so I would have started this at the start if I was going to record it, but there is no way of moving it back to when you first started. This is, it's just there. So yeah, I, d I don't think there's really that much that you're missing out on, to be honest. It's um, pretty much the same thing all the way through the game. But with some letters, you can always go back and read them. I might read them out at some point. Not right now though, because I'm hunting beavers. As you know, I need some beaver hide. There we go. And another one. Now oh, the rabbits, when you shoot them, they just need one shot. That's, that's not very good, is it? Um, they just need one shot with a slingshot. Um, but the beavers, they need two shots. So it turns out I was shooting at a beaver that was already dead so that would be why that wasn't working um it's not too clever is it come on little beaver there we go but it does not have what i'm actually oh, oh yes it does there we go i thought for a second it wasn't giving me the stuff i needed but it does so we're all good there and I don't think I need the meat, so yeah. This is my character, and this is the clothes that I was talking about. So, the guy in the town, he was giving away... There's a shelving unit that you can put into your house without going... Oh, who's that guy behind? Now that is a funky outfit. It's pretty cool. Um, so mine is the Japanese Shogun, I'm assuming that's something to do with Chinese New Year. That, that guy's wearing. Pretty cool. Anyway, I got my outfit for free. It was, it was donated by the town founder. So my outfit, it gives me nine hearts of stamina. Usually you would have just one to begin with and then depending on what clothes you put on, maybe two, three, maybe some more. Um, uh, yeah, and the other thing about my outfit is it never wears this? out which is really quite useful because if I show you here on the clothing it shows you everything that you're wearing so we have the headgear here you see the hearts going down like that oh might not do that because I'm going to run out otherwise <laughs> um that would not be such a good thing to do. Oops. I might actually have to eat some food now to regain that because I'm not fainting. Because I'm telling you, if you faint, the people on here are pretty sneaky. They will steal your stuff. They will do it. I've had that happen a number of times now before I upgraded my stuff. Um, and some of these people, they're really quite sneaky. They stand behind you and wait for you to drop everything so they can steal it or they'll run away and yeah don't put yourself in that position or you'll be like that guy in front of me walking around in your underwear um but luckily i am not in that position anymore i might i might have to eat some more food uh, some raw meat the meat's kind of heavy so i kind of want to that to be honest. So now, hmm, why has all of my hearts gone down? Right, maybe I'll deal with that in a while. This is my speed gauge, I'm going to run a bit faster to get to the next camp I think. Can you see that smoke over there? There it is. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try and sort out these hearts because it's meant to be at nine and clearly it's not when I'm trying to fiddle around with that piece of headgear just then. Let's see what's going on there. I'm at a camp now so I can regain my stamina. Right, 
What is going on here, young lady? Yeah, there we go. Good, I was worried that it was going to run out otherwise. Um, mm, mm, mm. and then what can we make? So, we're going to make some stuff. How about... You know what, yeah, we will make a sheriff's vest. See if I can upgrade my skill in that. It's all my bits and pieces. Huh. Well, it turns out I can't make one. Never mind with that. Go away, WhatsApp. We ain't bothered with that. Mm -hmm. We can make some sheriff boots, though. We will do that, then. And then I can sell my wares and see where I stand. Hey! Yeah, it's typical, you don't hear from anyone all day and then when you try to record something, people suddenly want to talk to you. Hey ho. Make some more moccasins. Mm -hmm. As you see, I've got quite a good skill on this at the moment because I'm on level 8 crafting for simple moccasins. It's not too bad. And this is my list of recipes so far. So. Obviously I can't make them without the materials, but these are the recipes that I have, so when I get some, I'll make some more. Some of them are useful, some of them they're just money makers, so like the carved rabbit, and the wooden carving, and the toy raccoon, they're just to sell really, and the toy bird as well. Um, the raccoon makes quite a decent amount of money, so that's not a bad one anyway. Um, so this is the trading game. I'm going to trade these. I'll have some of that, thanks. I quite like having the beaver fur because I find it is always quite useful to have the stuff that I like to craft, um, all the sheriff stuff it needs. The beaver fur, so. Let's go on. I'll have that, because as I said, I need it for my question. Um, you see at the top there's a score for what you've traded. The top trader, he wins a prize. So It's kind of random, you don't get to choose what the prize is, but it's usually something like high crafting level or something useful for your quest. For your quest. So um, it's worth doing, it's worth winning if you can. Anyway, off we go. Oh, we're on a run this time. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I think we might do some tree cutting. There we go. Some mushrooms in there. Which is not unhelpful, actually. Collect all of that. Make some more stuff. When I get to the next camp. You can't do any of your crafting when you're walking around. This tree is very easy to cut. Um, yeah, you can't do any crafting while you're walking around. You can only do it if you're at your home. Or if you're on the trail. Um, not if, tra uh, if you're at the camp, you can't do it on the trail. What am I talking about? Anyway. Onward. This naked guy clearly didn't find any clothes to put on. Luckily, it looks like it's a warm day, so, you know, it's not all bad for him. Can't say that I'd be very happy walking around like that in the wilderness, but then again, it's not for me to judge. Okay, nothing here that I want. Have some prairie flowers. Do, do, do. 
And I will have that feather as well. Because I think there is a quest coming up where I'm going to need them. I don't need them right now, but... Um, I'm quite a hoarder on this game, to be honest. Because I always think that I'm going to end up using it at some point, so I... I just kind of take everything when the opportunity comes, and I'm not going to be able to fell this tree by the look of it. Oh. Yes, I am. Um, so yeah, now my good axe is kind of broken, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do any more birch trees, but we'll see. This is the woman who will give you something if you watch her out of it, but we're not very interested in birch sticks. As you can see, I've just collected quite a lot of them, so... um. Her services aren't needed for that particular item. Another time, maybe. Also, it's not very interesting if you're watching an advert. Um, so, yeah. Not for a recording, anyway. Uh, so, what do we have here? The summer base? Still no postman. Do a little more crafting. A lot of this game is crafting, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything more to it, really. So I've only been playing it for a couple of games. I haven't been to all of the areas yet. But, from what I can tell, it seems like it. this is basically all there is to it. Um... I assume that you're going to find out more about the story with whoever you're writing to or as the objectives say you're going to find a partner or something. I don't really know. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, it would be interesting if that's the case. I don't really see how they can do that. Um, I mean, it's... I don't really see how that would work in this game, but we'll we'll find out. Uh, I don't have to understand everything just now. I'm quite happy to be amazed. Oh, we'll make some rabbits as well. Make some rabbits and some money. I'm not doing too badly. You can see at the bottom what my um, the amount of chits, which is the in-game currency. Reminds me of Rick and Morty with Chits and Blitz, but anyway. Um, yeah, so the currency is Chits, and I have 27,054 Chits at the moment, so I'm not doing too badly in-game. If only real life were that easy. Anyway. Um, small victories. So... Make the log with my rabbit carvings. And let's sell this stuff. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, I think it's going to be more buying stuff, to be honest. It's a lot of stuff that I need. So <laughs> um. Yes. Trousers? These people are selling some decent stuff. Thank you. I'll have some more of them. Have you got any more for me? I'm not interested in that. Right. I am interested in those though. Because they help me make my new axe. Um. That was the Chinese guy who comes and sells stuff. But we're not interested in him right now. We're interested in making a hatchet. So. So I need them. I've just used up my last hatchet. And you need a new one. Mm -hmm. Um. So. With that. Let's move on to the next camp.
looks like that's something new. I haven't seen that before. Some blackberries. Mm, some more weaving stuff. Need those for some clothes. Um, um, some porcupine. Not porcupine. It's a beaver hair. We'll have that. And some more fibre. Hemp fiber. Um, I don't think we want to go hunting rabbits right now, but we do. Oh, 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 no, 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 we're not going to be falling over from exhaustion, so let's eat some of this food, because I was running with a heavy pack there, I need to get rid of some stuff. Um, do you see the pack's gone red now? It's because I'm carrying a lot. It's too heavy for my character. So my stamina's going to decrease faster than it would normally. Um, she says as she puts something else into her bag. Okay. Well, we're not too far from the camp anyway. Um, but yeah. Well, maybe I'll eat something else and then just get there a bit faster. I'm not gonna meander too slowly. I want to see if there's a postman at the other end because it's a little while since I've had any posts in here. Come on, let's speed up a little bit. I might need to eat something before I can. Ooh. I really do just hoard everything in this game. It's, I can't help myself. It has to be done. And still no postman. And bugger. That is... Okay, so this is what happens um, when you run out of energy. You fall down and it, you can ask this guy for like the real money to help you. Or, you can wait for your stamina to replenish, but the other thing you can do is you can eat, and that is exactly what I'm going to do, like, eat as much as I possibly can, because you can't get up until you have your hearts fully replenished, and with nine hearts, that's probably going to take a while, and I do not want to lose my stuff, it's not happening these guys can you know just move on really um bugger. see like that guy there he's stealing my stuff now as it falls out my pack um yeah so i managed to fill my energy enough so that I didn't really lose too much but still very annoying as you can imagine when you've collected a load of stuff and then somebody just comes by and steals it hey ho um dry sight a new one so with that I think I'm gonna leave it for the moment. I don't think I really want to be. Um, 